Yeah, good evening students. So this is the one of the important question in the second unit of EC1. Common collector amplifier small signal analysis. Small signal analysis of common collector amplifier using hybrid pi model. Now listen here. This is a common collector configuration. Why it is called as common collector means here output is taken in the emitter no. Output is taken in the emitter that configuration is called as common collector configuration. Okay. Then Vs input source voltage. RS source resistance this is the capacitor input capacitor normally AC capacitor short circuit so we didn't care about this capacitor it's acted as a short circuit R1 R2 R2 voltage divided resistor then this is our transistor this is our emitter resistor RE output is V0 so this is the V0 now definitely one resistance or uh, is present in the circuit that is uh, that resistance is called as small R0 not capital R0 okay that is called as small R0 the difference between small R0 and capital R0 is small R0 resistance within this uh, device capital R0 resistance external to the device that's all now the um, idea is whatever may be the element is connected to the supply now that the element is disconnected from the supply and connected to the ground terminal okay now this R1 is connected to the supply now disconnect R1 to the supply and connected to the ground terminal now what happened this r1 is tilted so r1 and r2 become parallel that is shown in this small signal analysis next one common sorry this is transistor no in small signal analysis transistor is replaced by a one resistance and one current source what is resistance r pi this is your current source this current okay this is common emitter no oh, which is input current is base what is output current collector so input is base current is base current ib output is collector the current is ic that's all then this is one resistor this is the current source normally ic is equal to beta ib this current is nothing but beta ib it's also called as gm into v pi anyway here the resistance is present no that's why here also the resistance is present here no, there is no resistance here also there is no resistance anyway here resistance is there now this resistant this uh, current flow through the resistance is r pi but this resistance this current ib also flow through this resistor then then uh, this ic also flow through this resistor that is that current is called as ie you know the formula ie is equal to ib plus ic anyway this current is ib this current is ic now ic is equal to beta into ib anyway so this current ie is equal to ib this current plus beta ib anyway this is equal to ie equal to ib plus beta ib you take ib common it's equal to 1 plus beta right now av AV is equal to V0 by Vs. Find out first one. First we find out the AV. AV is equal to V0 by Vs. What is V0? I0, R0. Okay. Here where we take the output? Here we take the output now. What is I0? Here the I0 is IE. Are you clear? Okay. I0 is IE. So anyway, IE. I0 is equal to IE. Then what is R0? Listen here. Here R0 is R0. Output is R0 is equal to parallel combination of RE parallel small R0. So capital R0 is substituted as a RE parallel small R0. Okay, now what happened? IE. What is the current flow through this resistor? IE. IE the current flow is IB plus beta IB. No? So here the IE is replaced by IB plus beta IB. Then R0 is equal to RE parallel R0. Now what happened? We have substitute the value of IE and take output. You forgot the final answer. V0 is equal to IB 1 plus beta and the RE parallel R0. Please listen here 1 is constant, beta is constant, RE is constant, R0 is constant. Only variable is IB. So you find out the value of IB, then substitute in V0, entire answer will be over. IB is equal to V in by okay. What is IB? IB is the input current. No, input current means input voltage by input resistance. What is the input resistance? V in. What is the input uh, voltage is V in input current resistance is R R I B replayer V is equal to I R so I B is equal to V in by R I B now uh, first we find out V in next we find out the I B then substitute in V naught the entire derivation will be over listen here your V V in is equal to total voltage into same resistance divided by total resistance what is total voltage V S this is the input voltage what is your resistance entire resistance is called as R I simplified R I next one is total resistance means rs plus ri that's all that is your v in now what is your ri ri is input resistance ri is equal to r1 parallel r2 parallel rib r1 r2 are the voltage divided resistors rib is the input resistance okay now substitute the value you find out the value of v in okay once 
this is your equation 3. Now, this equation substituted in IB, what happened? IB is equal to V in by RIB, no? So, IB, you substitute the value of V in. IB is equal to V in divided by RIB. So, substitute this 3 in previous equation 2. Now, you got a IB value. Are you clear? Okay, this is equation 4. Now, what happened? You substitute this 4 equation in the previous <coughs> first equation, you get a value of V naught. Substitute the value, you get a value of V naught. The entire thing is over. Here, this is constant, this is constant, this is constant, this only variable now. So, 1 by RIB. How you find out RIB? RIB is equal to input voltage by input resistance. Okay, this input voltage we are not able to find out using voltage rule because this input voltage is in term of input resistance RIB. Okay, what is V in? Now, I find out V in. How I find out V in? This is the V in. IB is equal to R pi. V in is equal to IB into R pi plus IB, beta IB, R pi. How it's convinced? I will explain. Now, listen here. V in. How you find V in. v in is equal to v in is equal to this is the input only v in is equal to i b into r by first drop then second drop next this is your v in are you clear v in is nothing but first drop then second drop what is the drop here i b into r by what is the drop here i e into r e what is i e i e is equal to i b plus beta i b so this drop plus this drop you render the act plan are you clear okay So, R in, you find out the value of V in. Now, what happened? The entire thing is no. So, you pay, take IB common, you get a equation, then you substitute uh, V in, IB, IB, IB get cancelled. You get this answer. I think you know this. Substitute Pananga, you get this answer. This is your RIB. Are you clear? Right. Then. Now, substitute this RIB. We find out the value now. RIB, this is your equation 6. Now, find out this in equation 5. What is equation 5? This is your equation 5. Okay. Now, substitute this equation 6. Which is equation 6? This is the equation 6. Now, substitute this equation 6 in your equation 5. So, you get an answer. V naught. Please listen. Here, right hand side VS is there. No, that VS is coming in the left hand side. So, V naught by VS. The entire thing, this is your AV. So, once our AV will be finished. Are you clear? Any doubt in this? Okay. Now, next one is output resistance. So, output resistance, this is nothing but R0. R0 is equal to V0 by I0. It's also Ohm's law. What is V0? How do you find out V0? See this. V0 by V0 by R0. So, V0 is equal to I0 R0 means, you substitute means what happened? I0 I0 cancel, finally you get a same value of R0. So, you substitute here, V0 is equal to I0 into R0, I0 I0 cancel, so R0 is equal to R0. We are not able to find out the derivation, no? That's why in this we find out the I0 then substitute. Okay, I0 is equal to V0 by R0. What is V0? Okay, you know. So, what is R0? You know. Now, listen, How, what is V0? How you find out V0? So, see this. The, See this, it's clear. Are you clear this diagram? Okay, now listen, V naught. What is V naught? First, V uh, I uh, you find out I naught now. I naught is equal to V naught by R naught. So first one is V naught by R naught plus V naught by R E. Next, V naught by R pi. Next, G M into V pi. Are you clear? So first, G uh, V naught by R naught. V naught by R E, V naught by R pi, V G M into V pi. Then all these things are going to be done. Substitute for now. And the V naught value, I naught value, can be done. Are you clear? First, second, third, fourth. Now we go to the equation. I is equal to V naught by R E, V naught by R naught. Next, minus V M G M V pi minus V pi by R pi. Anyway, this minus indicate the current is the current direction is negative. Not current is negative value. Current direction is negative. That's why it's called as minus. Now substitute this V naught is equal to V pi. Then you use this in this. What happened? These are sim simplifications. So substitute this. You get an answer. Now, 
present here this is equal to i naught by v naught substitute finally you get a r naught r naught is your output resistance okay everything will be finished next one current gain so current gain is nothing but output current by input current common collector no output is emitter input is base anyway output current is i naught input current is i i you know this then i naught is equal to already you find out now i naught is equal to from the circuit i b plus beta i b that is i naught is nothing but i e output current now output current is i e i e is equal to beta i b i b plus beta i b please listen see here so i e is equal to this current i e is equal to i b plus beta i b same thing here also i naught is nothing but output current i uh, that is i naught is nothing but i e i e is equal to i b into beta i b then finally i b take common i b into 1 plus beta find out the i b what is the value of i b find out the value of i b using current divided rule what is current divided rule total current into opposite resistance divided total resistance what is your total current total current is total input current is i i then opposite resistance is r1 parallel r naught then total resistance you get this now what happened you find out the value of ib now then this ib value is substituted here you get a value of i naught 